All right, a politician making headlines yet again for all the worst reasons. Andrew's biggest fan here um, is back in the news. Andrew, let's uh, hear really, the latest we about don't really my man like Pedro. each other that much. Richard takes a special kind of guy who could go from the state house to the big house, but going to prison apparently not enough of a legacy for our next guest star. Prosecutors now want to send him to prison even earlier because they just caught him doing the very thing he was convicted of. Fortunately, we had a camera rolling yesterday morning when I read the news. Just when I thought I was out. They pull me back in. Yes, because even I get tired of having to play this clip. Uh-oh, Pedro. Oh, Pedro Espada, the former state senator and coup leader, apparently just couldn't help himself or keep his hands out of the cookie jar. Just to refresh your memory, he was convicted of stealing hundreds of thousands of dollars, taxpayer dollars, from the Bronx Health Network he ran, and his conviction sent that network into bankruptcy. But this is Pedro Espada we're talking about here which means this ain't no ordinary bankruptcy. Now, what should happen with a bankrupt Soundview, that's the name of the uh, health system, is they sell off all their stuff and they use that money to pay their bills. But, uh, you know, I just used Pedro Espada's clinic and the money in the same sentence. So guess what really happened instead? Prosecutors say Pedro and family jumped in and made sure they got paid while Soundview's creditors did not. More than $350,000, they say, went to the Espadas, and Pedro got a check for forty grand. You can buy a little sushi with that. So what happens now? Well, again, Pedro Espada is involved here, so the answer is nothing good. Soundview is out of business. Prosecutors want to revoke his bail and send him to prison instead of all his actual sentencing. And it's not clear when or if Soundview's creditors will ever be paid. If you're holding a bill against Soundview, uh, good luck. The judge heard the complaint today saying to prosecutors, hey, I agree with you that this thing has an odor but I have to apply the law, unfortunately. He's giving Espada's legal team one week to put their response together. Meanwhile, Espada still faces a retrial on state charges that ended a mistrial last time. He also still faces federal tax evasion charges in November. That's it for now, but tune in next Friday when we hear from the judge again in another edition of... Uh-oh, Pedro. He's such a bad guy. Not Andrew, Pedro Espada. All right, we'll be right back. Stay with us.